plan? I don't know, but I'm I'm for opening it. Um, you know, we can put in, like you said, we don't want to, in that safety plan, we don't want to say must or shall or whatever, but make it more like a, a suggestive yeah. plan, re recommendations. And, and uh, you know, I think we've carried this thing far enough and we're ready to open up. If you drive around Elko or walk around Elko, I think we're pretty much open anyway. There's still a lot of mask around. Yeah, there's still a lot of masks, but I think that's a voluntary choice. If you want to yeah. wear a mask, wear one. That's what it should be. Yeah. I think there will continue to be a lot of mask wearing. Yeah. But that's, and, and that's fine. I think that's up to yeah. people. Yeah, that's, that's a choice people make, and that's up to them. Uh, I have no problem with people wearing a mask. I have, I have no problem with people not wearing a mask. And I'll, 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 I keep it in my pocket. And if the business asks me to put it on, I'll leave it at you or put it on. And depending on how bad I want what I'm after. <laughs> well, so what will that do for the mask police? Or That's not a, so under this emergency directive number 41, the uh, state basically is, uh, that's one of their mitigation measures that they plan to keep in place. Social distancing, mask wearing, uh, school reopening and operational requirements uh, are still covered under Directive 38 and under the Department of Education. Crisis standards of care is still set forth in Directive number 11. Uh, the open meeting law pieces are still on Directive 6 and a couple of other little pieces in there, but um, the state is still tasked with enforcing those things. Um.